Unacceptable. Angela Levin drops major bombshell on Meghan hideous motive behind Texas school visit. British expert thinks Meghan Markle school visit linked to Netflix. Some royal experts will always find something to criticize Meghan Markle even when she acts in personal capacity to visit a school. Royal author Angela Levin was quick to attack the Duchess when her spokesperson shared the news that she had visited the school which was the target of mass shooting recently that killed 19. This time the objection was raised to the pictures Meghan's spokesperson shared of her visit. Commenting on her photos, Levin said, Can you imagine getting a photographer plus a bodyguard to take a picture of you laying roses in memory of the most hideous attack on a school in Texas? Or did the parents or teachers ask her to come? We'll know when the Netflix filming is released. One reader also commented, You can see the camera woman from Netflix filming in the background. Absolutely sickening. Another added, There are pictures from different angle, Netflix video cameras were there filming her. Absolutely disgusting the families should have told her to F off home. One more said, Go back to LA not welcome here. It was unclear whether Markle's husband Prince Harry, who lives with her and their two children in Montecito, accompanied her on her journey to Texas, but he was not seen at the memorial or the community center with her. Accompanying the Duchess was the head of her security team Alberto Alvarez, who once handled protection for Michael Jackson. The bodyguard looked on from a respectful distance as Markle toured the impromptu memorial. In another stop on her tour of mercy, Markle also swung by a community center hosting a blood drive in Uvalde, and dropped off bags of food, according to BuzzFeed News. The quiet donation consisted of two large bags filled with sandwiches, beverages, and desserts for blood donors, the outlet said. I had no idea who she was. She just was carrying on a conversation like her and I knew each other for years, volunteer Gloria Contreras, 40, told BuzzFeed, which first reported Markle's visit to the Herbie Ham Activity Center as part of her Uvalde trip. We were just talking about, you know, the situation and what happened what we were doing here. I told her about us giving out water to the people and and feeding them, Contreras said. I even talked about my personal life, telling her about my son and my family and, you know, coming to Texas because she told me she was from Santa Barbara and I said, well, you need to come to Texas. Added Contreras. Though Markle did not address the press on her visit to the memorial, the American-born Duchess has previously made known her views in favor of stricter gun control laws. In an address to the UN 2020 Girl Up Leadership Summit, Markle spoke of the need to end gun violence. Prince Harry reportedly quit hunting and sold his prized hunting rifles worth more than $60,000 after marrying Markle, out of respect for her views on the matter. Though cameras and news crews surrounded the memorial on Thursday, Markle did not make any remarks to the press. President Joe Biden also plans to visit Uvalde in the coming days. He has called on lawmakers to take on America's powerful gun rights lobby and enact common sense gun reforms. Members of the British royal family typically steer clear of contentious political issues in the UK, instead embracing a policy of official neutrality on the hot-button topics of the day. But Markle has sent signals that she is willing to take a different approach since the Sussexes quit their royal duties in early 2020 and subsequently moved to California. Last fall, she cold called two GOP senators on their private phones in order to lobby them to vote in favor of paid parental leave. She called Republican Senators Susan Collins from Maine and Shelley Moore Capito from West Virginia, both of whom said they were shocked that Markle called out of the blue and noted that she even used her royal title to lobby for the cause. Even used her